Hi all, and thanks for watching. In this video, I'm actually going to go over some of the troubleshooting for the EMB and SweetFX. Now with some wi Windows updates recently, I found that for some reason, some of the games weren't working correctly with the EMB and SweetFX. For some reason, I was starting to get some issues and I found that I actually had to remove some of the files. Now by removing some of the files it actually made the setup fully compatible with all Windows versions as I had to remove the DXGI files and some of the D3D9 files. And I'll just show you here. I'll go to my Gothic as this was one of the games that was affected. Now in the original EMB and SweetFX install you basically had this set of files the D3D9, the FX, the SweetFX and then the accompanying files with the DXGI. Now I found that it was actually the DXGI and these three files that were for some reason causing a problem with the newest update. Now I'm not sure if it was a Windows update or if it was actually Steam update but I'm thinking it was more of a Windows update because it seems to have affected several of the games. So if you used the original install and you changed this over to the D3D11 DLL but then suddenly the game was no longer working then what you wanted to do was actually go into your game folder and remove these five files here the rename DXGI along with these ones here and then you would end up with this set of files here only having the 1D3D9 along with the SweetFX D3D9 and the D3D9 effects file now by removing these files I found the game ran correctly so I have updated a few of my files so far as far as the games that I've gotten to try but if you have installed a previous version and suddenly your game stopped working you can either download a new version from my downloads on the mod page which I'll be updating them as I go or you just have to go to the actual game folder and what you want to do is go through and remove these files from it. Now I've already removed them but normally you would have these files here in the game folder and then being a Windows 10 user you would have renamed this to D3D11 the DXGI so you would basically have these files here now to correct the new issue due to this update you just go in and you select these files here along with the DXGI FX so you'll select five files here all listed this one will be listed under either DXGI if you haven't renamed it if you're on an older Windows version or D3D11 but once you get to the game folder just delete those five files out and then the game should run correctly for you all right and as I said I am going through and updating them as you can see I've updated the Gothic 3 as well I've updated the Left 4 Dead 1 and Left 4 Dead 2 so that you just have to place the files now you don't have to worry about any renaming of course you do still have to do the troubleshooting with the switching D3D9 if you have any startup issues after but otherwise making that change should correct any issues that you may encounter due to recent updates in Windows alright so I hope that has helped and if there are any questions, please let me know. Otherwise, if you'd like to see more videos like this, please leave a like and subscribe. Thanks a lot for watching, and I'll talk to you again.